Notion offline is finally coming. But is it the real solution we've all been waiting for? Before we ask Notion to solve it, my question was, what are we really trying to fix? To find that out, I looked at what you've actually been asking for over the last four years. And before you jump into any conclusions, I've actually been using a solution that covers a big part of what you've all been asking for for so long. Everything you've been asking for boils down to four key areas. And here's the twist. Three out of the four solutions are already available. Let's talk. So let's start with what I believe is the most overlooked and honestly, the most important reason people want Notion offline. You don't want to lose your work. If your key files like docs, spreadsheets, slides or research are stored on your local drive, your external SSD or Dropbox, they're completely under your control. Just link them inside of Notion. I'm talking about both files as well as folders. So Notion becomes the reference point, not the storage host. You can update those files as many times as you want. The link stays the same. The second reason you guys mentioned is that you want access even if Notion is down or you're offline. Since you have access to your native file, that's a given with this solution. Now, some of you mentioned that you want your data to stay private, even from your own workspace. You might not want team members or collaborators to access certain documents. Now that's simple. Just add a password to the file and it works across all types of documents, whether it's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDFs or the Apple equivalents. Let's talk about the tools I use. To manage all of this, I use an app called Link Your File. It works seamlessly with Notion on both Windows as well as the Mac. I've built a system around it and I call it FileFlow, which is part of my bigger productivity system, SparkFlow. Now how it works is incredibly simple. Right click on any file or folder inside the Finder, which is on the Mac, or the File Explorer on Windows. Now click on Create Link and then paste that into the URL property inside of FileFlow. That's it. You can now sort, filter, and organize your files however you want, right inside of Notion. If it's a folder, it opens the folder in the Finder. And if it's a file, it opens the file in the right app. It even works with zip files. Now let's talk about what happens when you're offline, but need to capture something important. There are are really two kinds of situations here. You want to capture your notes even if you're offline or you want those notes to go straight into Notion as soon as you're connected again. Let's talk about option one, the direct note capture. If you're someone who prefers to write directly into a Word doc, a text file or note in a local folder, then area number one that we've covered already has you covered. So any file you work on is still linked inside of Notion using FileFlow. So you can write offline and it's already a part of your system. But if you want to capture short notes from your phone or from your tablet while you're out, there's an app called Instant Notion. It works on iOS and now on Android and on the iPad and it lets you type offline, cue the note and then it'll auto sync into your Notion database when you're back online. It takes in the title, the text, the body, a date, the tag, and even a URL link to capture. It instantly pushes the information into Notion if you're online or if you're offline as soon as you go online. Now, if you're looking to type directly into Notion on your laptop, while you're offline. That's something I'll talk about in area number four. Now, this may come as a surprise, but not everyone wants Notion offline. Let me explain. It really comes down to one question. Who owns the data and who gets to take it offline? If you're an individual user or a small team, offline access sounds like a huge win. More flexibility, more speed, more freedom. But if you're a large business or an enterprise, the same feature starts to look like a huge risk. Think about it. The idea of an employee downloading sensitive company data and walking away with it is not something a business wants to deal with. These companies are the ones that are paying for the business and enterprise plans. And they're a huge part of what keeps Notion's lights on. 
That's why Notion implemented permissions first before rolling out a full offline mode. Business and enterprise plan owners now have granular control over who can take data offline and how it's accessed. If you're on a free or a plus plan, you may not really see this feature as a big thing. And honestly, you probably don't need to worry about it. So part two, that's what we'll dive into in area number four. So at this point, you might be thinking, wait, I just want to access my Notion pages offline. And that's what offline mode means to me. And yes, that's exactly what Notion is starting to roll out. But it's not just one feature. It's really two separate asks. Can I access my pages offline? And can they sync back up correctly when I go online again? Behind the scenes, this is much more complicated than it sounds, especially when there are multiple users who have access to the same page. Two people take it offline at the same time. So changes are made in different versions. Now the question becomes, which version is the truth? And then uh, there's the storage issue. A single page of text isn't such a big deal. But let's say you have a database that's full of embedded images, videos, or file attachments. It starts eating into your local storage really fast. And if you're on a laptop with the limited SSD space, that could be a problem. Now here's how Notion seems to be handling it based on what the CEO has shared so far. Each individual page can be set to an offline mode. To sync updates, you need to turn offline mode off manually. This happens page by page through the three dot menu as shown in two tweets by the Notion CEO. So here's what you can expect. You'll be able to view and edit most text, links, and images offline. Pages that contain databases will show their embedded tables and content on the same page. Now linked files from area number one, like PDFs or folders, will still be open as expected. But here's what may not work. Some of Notion's deeper functionality that are likely not to work are automations, relations, and rollups because they rely on backend calculations and cross-page dependencies. Now, right now, it's unclear whether you'll be able to control where Notion stores offline data. This is important. Since the Notion desktop is installed directly on your system, on your local drive. You may not be able to redirect storage to an external SSD or a drive. So just be prepared for increased usage. Now Notion's native offline mode should land pretty soon, likely within the next 45 to 60 days. But the most powerful parts, that's area number one and area number two, are already here today with FileFlow. And that's the real win.